Hello, Sagittarius ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. What I like to do for you guys this month is I like to just introduce a new topic to you. Basically, it's going to be a sex-based um, reading, which will cover a variety of areas um, to include but not limited to the following areas. You know, your current situation, um, your the emotional aspects that you know, kind of lurking around you in this relationship and the physical aspects, the sexual type aspects. What are your challenges, you know, in this situation? And what are your feelings for the other person and vice versa? What is the other person's feelings for you? You know, and to just discuss and address what's not important and what's important and what's hidden and just want to just give you an outcome here. And as usual, Sagittarius, if this reading resonates with you guys, go on and give it a big thumbs up. I've already shuffled here, and today I'm introducing to you guys uh, a new deck here, a few new decks, actually. Well, actually, not a new deck to me, but I've had these for a while. But we're going to be using the Sexual Tarot as well as a few other Oracle-based decks. Okay, if you've yet to subscribe to my channel, please take a few moments to do so now, and remember... I really would like to hear your comments on this, okay? So let's go on and get started. I'm going to go on and first make a few um, general observations, and then we're going to go on and move on here, okay? One thing that I do notice here is that you have a predominance of swords energy here that's lurking in your reading. So that shows that there's a lot of strife or conflict or quarreling that seems to be going on in your situation. And I'm getting the sense that you... Are you really in your head a lot, ladies and gentlemen, um, particularly with this person, and you're uh, somewhat confused, and, you know, I'm feeling that there may also be some unemployment or financial type issues that might be, you know, causing problems as well as geographical or locality, you know, type issues, or just events here that seems to be kind of working against you here, Okay. I'm also getting a sense or I get a feel that some of you are going to be re also receiving a new job, you know, or some type of a new duty or some type of responsibility, okay? I'm seeing lucky breaks are ahead for you guys. I'm also seeing, too, that you're going to come to grips with this situation that you've been going through soon, okay? Because it looks like it's been something that you guys have been avoiding when it comes to um, something romantic, Okay? I'm also seeing it looks like very, very important news there that's kind of coming towards you, okay? And it looks like it's connected here with a business matter here, okay? So I just decided to go on and just reduce your numbers here in this reading here, and it reduces um, to 15, okay? So that in the tarot equates to the devil card and... 1 plus 5 equals 6, so that reduces also to the lover. So the message here that I'm getting from your reading, guys, is to just it's telling you to really free yourself from a toxic situation so that, you know, you'll be able to kind of make a decision that, you know, as I've already, you know, indicated to you, a decision it looks like that many of you have been really putting off a lot I'm kind of getting here, okay? You also have a major um, time and conjunction here that I'm seeing here in your reading, okay? And it looks like that many of you already seem perhaps to be in the process of kind of healing, you know, old hurts. And I feel that you're likely going to experience, you know, situations about, you know, finances or materialistic things, okay? And many of you might even feel that your life is just kind of rambling along. I'm feeling that you're kind of already feeling this way. OK, I'm also feeling that, you know, your relationship for some of you, a relationship that you're dealing with has potential if you're willing to work on it. OK, I'm also seeing a lot of codependencies issues here. You know, one of you seems to be giving a bit too much or kind of putting in, you know, more effort to try to sustain this relationship. And it looks like that you have I'm feeling you have a rebounder. OK. It looks like this person kind of avoids serious commitment. It could be you or it could be, you know, someone that you're dealing with. But it looks like it's a rebounder. I'm kind of feeling that, you know, it looks like he or she hasn't really fully gotten over past hurts or something that may have transpired, 
to him or her in a, another relationship and they're just kind of coming back to you, I'm kind of feeling here. Just as a last go around, you know, I also kind of, you know, see it looks like a potential pregnancy for some of you happening, you know. Or that if that doesn't happen, you'll certainly be seriously contemplating perhaps, you know, starting a family or whatnot. But I'm feeling that the person you're dealing with is a bit fickle or, in fact, commitment phobic. Okay? And I'm feeling, too, that some of you, I'm kind of getting a sense that someone is having some type of throat issues. You know, it could be laryngitis or either tonsillitis or something uncomfortable that seems to be going on with the throat with some of you, okay? And I'm feeling that one of you is kind of holding on tightly or too tightly, it seems, to, to kind of what you have here, okay? So let's go on and get started and just go on and dive into your reading to get a bit more information, you know, that may not, that I may not have raised during you know, just during the general combinations here that I see here. Okay, we have the strength card there. So strength, ladies and gentlemen, it's connected with fire signs, okay? And it's linked with the sun. And it's usually a Leo, but of course, I, I don't limit it to just a Leo. I limit it to fire signs. So this is Leo, Aries, or, or a Sagittarius as yourself. So this card is all about, you know, releasing fears or tolerance, you know, self-discipline and patience, you know, faith, including nonviolence. So this card tells you to kind of have faith, to be patient, and you are ready to kind of meet the challenge, it seems, of confronting, you know, your lover. And also with having that card, some of you might even be going through a divorce or going through or, or, or may have might be experiencing a lot of problems, it seems, in your relationship here, but the strength certainly tells you you do have the reserve inside you to meet whatever challenges that are kind of put before you. And this card is asking you to kind of use your intuitions, and there may be some power struggles I'm, here, I'm feeling here uh, when it comes to sex. I'm feeling it's a lot of power struggles and dominance, and, you know, really, this needs to kind of be avoided, and there's a chance that, again, passionate sex can kind of be restored or kind of, you know, be brought about between you two guys, but these power struggles, I'm feeling that you, you kind of, like, need to get over those. I'm kind of feeling just too many power struggles, okay? And you might want to try to plan carefully, ladies and gentlemen, and consider you know, to maybe improve your sex life, maybe consider taking a shower together with one another, you know, because it seems that many of you are really too attached to the past, which kind of makes it hard, you know, for a relationship to kind of develop even a new one, you know, but an improvement I feel is in fact is going to come to you. Okay. Now let's want to move on and just look at your current situation here. We have the queen of pentacles. Okay, so that connects with earth signs, okay? Taurus, Virgo, and or Capricorn. And this card is all about being realistic. Since it is a queen, it could identify you, some of you, ladies, and, and men too, you as well. It doesn't have to be a male card here. It could be, a, you know, an aspect of your personality. It shows that you know, you are being realistic or you could be dealing with someone that like that or, you know, but this card is all about generosity and nurturing, you know, dependability and confidence. So it, this card clearly shows, you know, your situation can, in fact, improve if you want it to. And I'm feeling that many of you might even have recently met someone in whom you might be considering a relationship that you know, maybe match those qualities that I've just discussed, you know, and a person that you're dealing with might want to kind of be wooed in a sense, if you will, you know. I'm feeling this person is appears to be of substance, you know, very wise and mature and very generous, you know, has a very big heart and very flirtatious. So more than likely, it looks like it's somebody that that you may have just met here, I'm kind of getting here with that, with this card. And they could potentially, for someone, you have dark features or even be a foreigner or just a voluptuous type person that I'm getting here. But they seem to be very financially secured, you know, again, very intelligent, business-oriented I'm getting here. They could even work, you know, in food services or the government or does something in, like, um, 
a realtor or there's something in, in medicine or works at a bank or some type of office type facility but mind you with this card it can be very materialistic or very jealous you know this person uh, is either their way or the highway and they're very overly possessive here okay so let's go on and just look at your next cards actually we're going to look at your next few cards here and we're going to look at you know first we're going to look at you know the, the emotional aspects that your relationship seems to be offering here we have okay the judgment card there okay and, and you know that connects once again with fire signs aries leos as well as sagittarius and pluto governs this card so it certainly shows that you've reached with this card a very very critical place in your life and now it's really time for you to make a decision here because this card is all about accountability ladies and gentlemen renewal you know transformation and resolution so one of you might be judging the other a bit too much here with this you know even some of you really kind of want to get rid of past hurts and kind of start over but I feel that you're going to feel a, a bit nostalgic you know about someone you know more than likely someone whom you haven't really gotten fully over you know I'm kind of getting here you know and that's something that you might want to consider doing is particularly if you want to move forward into a new relationship in good faith you know but you certainly don't kind of I'm feeling you don't really want a relationship that's superficial and this card is kind of asking you to kind of face the music ladies and gentlemen forgive and release you know maybe a secret may have even come out about you know the person you're dealing with or it soon will come out and that's why forgiveness is necessary and it could be vice versa it might be something you did or something they did okay so again this card is kind of asking you to let go of fears and learn to kind of listen before making judgment calls okay because I'm feeling that many of you want and feel that you can really work things out and I'm feeling that you're gonna really review your situation you know, you're going to look at it in a new way I'm kind of getting. And you're going to open your hearts or pour your hearts out, you know, to one another. I'm kind of getting here. Okay? So let's move right along and, you know, just look at the sexual, you know, aspects, too, of this relationship. Just to dig more, dig more deeply in here. We have the Nine of Pentacles there. Okay? So, of course, that represents an earth sign. Okay? Yes, Virgo, Taurus, as well as Capricorn, but this card falls within the second degrees of Virgo, okay? And this nine is certainly all about, you know, security and selfishness and independence and cautions, as well as self-reliance, okay? And the capacity here to kind of be alone, okay? So it shows quality time being spent or desired here, you know? And sometimes work or other matters might kind of get in your way here. I'm kind of getting, you know, but you kind of remain content here being alone, you know. And some of you may find yourself away from your mate temporarily at times. But you still feel content, I'm kind of getting here, being alone at times, you know. Because there's a, also, you know, I'm feeling an indication that when for the most part you have sex, I'm kind of feeling you are somewhat fulfilled sexually but some of you kind of had to go through conflicts to kind of get it I'm kind of getting and some of you might even want to kind of be single or independent until you kind of find someone in whom you can trust really and might have decided not to kind of settle you know but ladies and gentlemen to improve your situation you might want to learn different positions or sexual positions and maybe touch a partner a bit more you know Including maybe kissing or, you know, licking certain hot spots, okay? So let's look at your other card just to get a bit more information here. We have the four pentacles there. Once again, that connects with earth signs, okay? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgos. And this is in the uh, 10 degrees or the third 10 degrees of Capricorn, okay? So this card, and the sun governs this card, and the card this card represents or denotes you know, a bit of repression, you know, stubbornness, possessiveness, ladies and gentlemen, the ability to kind of open up, perhaps with good reasons, be due to, you know, the past hurts and things that you, 
you know, have experience with this past person. And it creates a feeling of kind of wanting to kind of hold on to what one has already. So either you or your lover has a very rigid approach on feeling or attitude when it comes to sex. And I feel that many of you are bored and just feel very insecure, which, you know, kind of causes you to kind of view your situations as a bit hopeless at times, okay? And maybe you are sometimes a bit depressed and, you know, fear and loss in some way or abandonment, you know? And that makes you a bit overprotective with this person or it could be vice versa. You know, I'm also feeling there also might even be geographical problems as admitted from the onset. You know, I'm feeling that your lover might even, as I said, not live close to you. And one of you might not be ready to kind of commit, however, despite, you know, your pleas to the contrary, you know. So try, you know, to gain with this card, you need to try to gain a bit more clarity with this person and flirt and don't really, you know, I'm getting the sense that some of you may even lie or, you know, fake your true feelings or put up a facade. You don't want to do that here. Okay. You want to just kind of be your authentic self here when you're kind of seeing this card. Okay. So that usually makes a big difference. Okay. So, you know, you need to, you know, kind of talk about your sexual needs more and use you might even want to use like incense or, you know, anything like any aromatherapy or whatever to give the person a chance, you know, or just to create that mood, you know, and try not to have any advanced expectations. Be realistic. OK, with this person. So let's look at let's look at what your potential challenges might be. OK, we have the two of swords there. So that connects with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And the moon governs this card. Actually, the moon is in Libra. So this card is all about confusion and stalemate and indecision and really blocked feelings and dismissiveness. You know, so one of the challenges is, you know, some challenges that you may face is, you know, really not taking control of your situation and procrastinating, not making a decision that you know that's necessary and not facing up to your vices and thinking that you'll never have that special someone and refusing to kind of see things as they really are because there's a lot of stress between the two of you and you need to kind of really express your true feelings and learn to kind of you know you really need to learn to listen ladies and gentlemen before bickering you know with this card when you're seeing here because again you know the two is is stalemated so maybe the two of you might kind of run away from things rather than kind of dealing with things, you know, kind of head on, you know, you need to try to cultivate a bit more patience in your situation. Try to be a bit more emotionally available because this card is the emotionally unavailable type card. Okay. So now let's look at how you feel about, you know, your lover, you know, and, it, and, and as I said, the energies of this card can go vice versa. So you have um, for this card, you have the Page of Swords here, okay? And this card, of course, connects with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. It's all about, you know, being critical and outspoken or sarcastic. So it shows that you feel that this person is very critical, hostile, outspoken, and sarcastic, very defensive and deceitful, you know, a quick thinker. You're very calculated, even, in fact, wounded, you know, and... This person might even belittle others or it's frivolous or, you know, maybe even have difficulty speaking sometime or very moody, I'm kind of feeling. So I'm, I feel that you're kind of feeling this way about this person. And this person might even be a police or works in the legal field or com does something with computers or does some type of mechanic type work that I'm kind of getting here. Now, let's go on and turn our attention to look at how they really feel about you here. Okay, we have the Six of Swords. And once again, that connects with air signs. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And Mercury governs this card. Actually, Mercury is in Aquarius. So, you know, they feel a sense that you believe that the world kind of owes you something. Or, you know, you look at things, you know, always in a negative way I'm kind of getting here. And again, this could go vice versa. You know, um, I'm feeling that 
they feel that perhaps some of you might even be attempting to move away from them or relocate, you know, you know, or you're healing or you're in the midst, you know, some of you I'm kind of getting, you might even, even be in the midst of kind of, you know, kind of changing your attitude or even contemplating severing ties or just distancing yourself from this person completely. You know, they even feel, ladies and gentlemen, that you want, some of you might even want something else. And with great reason, or again, this could be vice versa, okay? So now let's look at what's not important in your situation, okay? This is the area that you should not be putting any focus on because it's not going to get you anywhere, okay? So we have the Ten of Chalices here, okay? So it represents water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Mars is in Pisces um, with this card. And so now it's certainly not the time to kind of swim in a sea of discontent, if you will. Now is not the time for you to feel miserable, okay? Or even seek security. Or for some of you, a even new resonance here that I'm kind of getting. Now is not the time to trust, to kind of seek a harmonious relationship with those around you even. Or even push for marriage or even happiness, perchance, I'm kind of getting here with this. So it doesn't seem like, you know, it doesn't mean that this can't happen for you, but I'm just feeling that it's not really time for you to be, you know, kind of doing that at this moment, okay? So let's move on and see then, then after we've examined what's not important, let's go on and see what's important then, okay? We have the nine wands, okay? And that again connects with fire signs, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. And the moon governs this card. The moon is actually in Sagittarius. So it's important that you don't succumb to obstacles, ladies and gentlemen. It's important that you show you feel a bit threatened. You know, that you stop being naive and so forgiven and letting others worry you with threats or either ultimatums here. You know, it's important that you be defensive and show that you have stamina and stand your ground, you know. Persevere because... Really, it ain't over until the fat lady sings, okay? And I feel that some of you might even need to kind of leave well enough alone, you know? Be very cautious of this situation. You know, letting, you know, these people, you know, try not to let these people get too close to you because this card shows another challenge or a, um, a test might, in fact, um, um, be ahead for you guys, you know, in your situation. And rest assured it is, because now we're going to move on and see what's hidden here. You have the Ten of Swords there, okay? So, of course, you know that song, that car connects with air signs once again. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And the sun governs this card, and the sun is in Gemini. So this card is all about distress. Now we're looking at what's hidden. Distress is what's hidden. Pain, tears, grief, emotionally or feeling emotionally cut off. You know, something that's inevitable and irrevocable ending, even a separation, guys. So this card is preparing you for what is to come. A crushing, you know, shock or stab is going to come to your back or it's going to, you know, you're going to be feeling here. It's coming your way. And I'm kind of kind of feeling you're going to feel that you've hit rock bottom and you kind of want to you won't really know what to do and you're going to want to just give up. So this card is telling you, ladies and gentlemen, stop watering dead plants, okay? So when God removes a situation, and this one is very common, you know, from you, you know, or your life, or this applies to all of us. The fact that we keep willing these people back into our lives, it only causes more problems and more havoc, you know? Sometimes it's best to just let this toxic, you know, foolishness just go. You know, if it's not really getting you to where you would want it to get you to. So let's go on and look at your outcome here, okay? We have the Empress, all right? So Venus governs this card and it connects with Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And certainly this shows that, you know, for, for some of you, if you are single or kind of looking for other options, this would certainly, you're going to find someone by the end of next month, you know? And it shows that, you're going to find someone that's really going to strike your fancy, I'm kind of feeling, you know. So kind of trust your feelings more and try not to kind of maybe smother this new person with this card and kind of be more nurturing, more sympathetic, you know, and really more caring in your situation, okay. So 
I just wanted to get to these few additional Oracle cards that I have here just to give you a bit more part and advice into your situation here. You have this love here. So this card is kind of telling you that this is a good time for you for love. Love is kind of in being introduced to you. Just open your heart, you know, and to kind of love here in spite of it all, you know. And when it comes to the matters of your heart, ladies and gentlemen, there really is no right or wrong answers because every choice, ladies and gentlemen, that you make kind of expands, in fact, your understanding of life and love itself. And also, you know, you might want to go on and just look at your relationship patterns, you know, how you, the types of individuals that you keep attracting, you know, in your life and recognize that. And rely on this strength card to kind of improve yourself. You know, are you constantly keep attracting the same qualities or meeting the same person over and over, but just in a different body? Okay, there's a reason for that. Okay, so what you might want to do is to just try to be honest with yourself and address these situations, you know, as they occur. And use these past bad relationships as an opportunity to kind of grow and to kind of determine what is it that makes me happy as a Sagittarius. Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I have for you. I certainly hope that this reading has offered food for thought. Please like and share. Okay? And be sure to send me over your comments. And I'll be also posting more interesting topics like this as we move along throughout the year. Okay? So, thanks a lot and enjoy your day.